Hey everybody, I'm Graz. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the Sand Duke set and doing some tests to see which units I may or may want to replace it with. Let's take a look. Let's start by taking a look at the Sand Duke set. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail. It is a bomb set. I think most people will be replacing uh, either a blood letter or a genetic scientist. In terms of usage, it will definitely be a 6-6 six, six set if I use it. Generally speaking, it seems to do a lot of damage, add some shields. Um, but for me, the really important bit is down here where it, it does a whole bunch of stuff every second for five seconds. So it does a lot of damage, it does some healing, and it can remove buffs and things like that. So I, I think there's a lot of opportunity to, for it to be good. It may take a little while for the set abilities to kick in. So um, it might the, the unit may have to be alive for sort of five or six seconds before anything will happen. So for the purpose of the test, here is my general squad. Uh, eight units, I've got one infantry, which is Hitman. I've got one Ranger, which is Intruder, and then six chems, which are Firewall. Outcast Templar, Firestarter, Biotech, Phantom Peacekeeper, and Snowstorm. Here is my officer loadout. I think it's fairly standard at the moment. Modular armor is kind of a low level. Hopefully I'll get that up in a bit, but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty basic stuff. Okay, so for the testing, I use Squad Challenge. Um, I think it's just easier that way that you can repeat the battles as many times as you want. You don't have to keep bothering your Alliance members, that sort of thing. I already kind of did this once. I, I did a few battles against playing since 1994 36 million power but in the three battles i did i won comfortably with eight fighters left and it only took about 18 seconds each time so i'm gonna do the battles against noob devourer um i have done a couple of battles here as well because noob devourer i think beat me fairly easy twice but i have won once so i'm hoping that this is going to be a kind of fair reflection of 30 million power versus 39 million power so i'm going to run the first battle so you can see it i'll record the results um, and then I'll do the rest of the battles off the video. Okay, so it took about 23 seconds. Uh, and they have five fighters left. All of mine died. Which is okay because hopefully we do this test. Then do the next test. And theoretically everything should be better. Hopefully. What I'm going to record is the damage done. The percentage numbers. The like the amount of damage taken and obviously the percentage numbers um i'm not going to include dodge and crit because they're not very sticky they can be quite random um i am going to look at kills for firestarter because i want to see if there is although it's going to be a pretty small sample size and there's no conclusive proof but i want to see if kills by Firestarter have a reflection on the amount of resurrections the other team has. So um, I'm going to record those results now. First round of test is complete and first thing to say is I, I think the opponent is a little bit too hard. Uh, these minus numbers indicate that I lost five of the seven battles. The opponent had five units, five units, five units, six units and seven units left at the end of the battle. So we can see here that the total damage that my squad did and the DPS in each of those battles. As we look under Firestarter here then, um, in terms of damage done, on average, the Firestarter only did about 7% of my total damage. Um, defensively, it took about 11% of the total damage uh, and healing only did about 7%, so it was only really minor. In terms of kills by Firestarter then, so one, one, two, two, one, zero, and three. I'm not sure there's much of a correlation to read into that there. So here's like a, a summary of the battle. Here I've listed the the unit and the damage and the percentages and that and tried to highlight the important stuff. So here we can see the snowstorm. Snowstorm does not half the damage of my squad, which is, um, I didn't realize it was quite so powerful. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna swap in the Sand Duke for the fire starter, rerun those tests and see what the data says. Second round of testing done with Sand Duke in place of Fire Starter. We can see the result was very, very similar. On average, battles lasted two seconds longer. My kills were slightly higher. The amount of damage done and accordingly an increase to the DPS. What we can say there is that the, the battles were slightly longer, so more damage would be done, but the DPS accordingly has gone up only a little bit. 
comparing the sand duke directly to the fire starter with the damage done and the percentage of damage done by fire starter compared to sand duke is significantly higher um the amount of damage they took w was pretty reasonably the same and the healing done was also significantly high because we have that the set ability which does healing so that's that's specifically in there for a reason so the conclusion we can take from that is that whilst the impact to the squad as a whole was not significantly higher sand duke as a unit versus fire starter does more damage and more healing which i kind of expected but the important thing is that it hasn't really increased the the lethalness of the squad i didn't win more battles i didn't kill more of their units on average there was one kill more the conclusion i'm drawing from this is that i think sand duke is a better unit however in terms of squad composition i don't think swapping out Firestarter for Sand Duke is going to help you. One of the benefits of running six chems in my squad is that currently I have two hybrid chems. The final test will be Sand Duke. This will then become four pieces of Firestarter with two pieces of Templar. And then I'll keep the Phantom Peacekeeper as is. So when we're looking at the Firestarter set, the difference between four items and six items isn't really that much. The the initial damage drops down from 100,000 to 60,000. Enemies can't be reanimated for six seconds instead of eight seconds and we lose this the periodic fiery explosion of 200,000 damage which sounds great but as we saw in the spreadsheet the fire starter wasn't doing that much damage comparatively pew, pew. third round of testing complete and the results are quite conclusive or no although not the way i thought they were going to go we got beat every single battle and quite conclusively as well the battle times were much shorter down from 23 seconds to 15 um, they had most of their squad alive in, in almost all of the battles accordingly we did less damage because the battles were shorter however our dps was higher so we are doing more damage in the time that we are alive but just not able to stay alive against that stronger opponent um, what i'm putting that down to and hopefully not building a narrative is that without the four piece templar the armor is significantly lower so we're dying quicker also the opponent we were battling against has got two biotechnologists so um they're reducing the armor one thing of note is that the fire starter does get kills this is a summary of all all three sets of tests if we compare the six out of six fire starter to the four out of six fire starter with the templar um the damage was higher i think this is purely down to the unit being alive longer to to do the damage however the amount of damage it took was less to summarize i suppose i think in, as a direct comparison i think sand duke is a better unit than firestarter however i think firestarter gives you something in your team composition that not many other units give you um reanimation bands are quite important in my opinion i think if you look at the number of kills done Against this opponent, any time that we won the battle, we had to do at least 10 kills. In the final round, we got 12 kills um, and still didn't win the battle. It's hard to get units down and it's harder to keep them down. If you've got that reanimation ban, it's going to help. And if you can get more kills out of your fire starter from the set ability, despite the overwhelming destruction in this final test, this this composition is something that i'm going to work towards so that is going to wrap up this video unfortunately the test wasn't as conclusive as i would like it to be but that's the purpose of testing right we need to see if things are how we think they're going to be um if you'd like to see other tests please let me in, know in the comments below what you would like to see tested um there's only so much i can test and how quickly i can do it uh but i i do plan to try and do more tests i would like to build a grim undertaker set um one thing i did notice from these tests was that my hitman was dying very quickly let me know if you want to see other tests let me know in the comments below um please like the video if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content i would like to publish videos maybe once a fortnight maybe once a week if i can um but yeah thanks for watching and see you again soon Bye bye